Hey guys, how are you? Andy Sukufana, CEO of Y2K Credit Solutions. So, today I'm here to talk to you guys about something, and um, it's a topic, and, and it's about a, a popular artist that just passed away. And of course, this has to do with credit, but it has to do with financial literacy. Uh, and I feel like it's important because, in the course of my lifetime, I've seen a lot of young people pass away. Um, I see a lot of young people made a lot of money, and I see a lot of young people made a lot of stupid decisions or decisions that didn't benefit their future or their family if something was to happen to them. So, you know, I wanted to talk about this, and, and this article Pat, was passed along to me on, uh, I think, Saturday or Sunday. And, you know, we all know Black Rob. I think he sang that song, Like, Whoa, that was my song. I grew up on that. Like, Whoa, on the top of a bus. I should be doing that video. Anyway, so he passed away. And part of the article was saying that there's a GoFundMe page for Black Rob's funeral. I mean, a lot of us with the, yeah, I thought about it. I said, well, wait. I think he was signed to uh, Puff Daddy, Combs, Music, Ent Bad Boy Entertainment, I believe. Um, but also, I'm pretty sure Black Rob made a lot of money in the course of his life and after his, in the course of his music career and after his music career. So where did that money go? What did you do with that money? Why is it that when you pass away? And he, how old is Black Rob? He's young. He's probably like mid 40s, early early, late 40s, not even touching 50, I think, I believe, I could be wrong on that, but the point is that, where's all that money going? What did you do to it, do with it? That you, your family has set up a GoFundMe page. Not only that, you put that burden on someone else to have to take care, you know, of your funeral expense. Listen, we're all gonna die, right? We're not here forever. We all have a, a expiration date on us. But when if that day comes, it's very important that while we're here on this earth and we're doing what we're doing or we're trying to be the greatest version of ourselves, that we set up uh, financial planning in place to handle if something handle something if it happens to us, right? Um, and you know it, that comes back to it, I'm talking about it because it has to do with financial literacy and life insurance. You know, everyone should have a life insurance policy. I mean, it's cheap. You don't need to be a rich person to have a life insurance policy. Life insurance policy can be tailored to, to your budget. But as when you're here on this earth and you're working and you're making money, it's very important that you, you set things up and put things in play for yourself in case something happens to you in the future, right? It's not fair, um, like, you know, you pass away, your family got to figure out where, this, where they're going to get money from. While you were here, you're living your best life. You know, you were probably purchasing frivolous things that didn't matter, but you didn't take the time to put things in play that, that really need it. You know, I see a lot of our clients, we have insurance policies on our cell phone. We have insurance policies on our watches. I don't have any on, but we have insurance policy on our watches, but we don't have life insurance policy. The thing that matters more, right? I'm not saying the insurance on your expensive watches isn't important or your cell phone isn't important, but it's not the top of the totem pole. Life insurance is more, it's more important, especially when you're making money. And these are the things we don't think about when we're making money and you know we're working you know we think about all the furthest thing that that's never gonna we're not gonna take with us right um so you know the message really here while i'm talking what, what i'm talking about is life insurance plan is very important and it has to do with financial literacy and you have to make sure your, your financial situation is always in order starting from now to whenever you expire right um and again life insurance is not cheap it's not expensive you don't need to be a rich person middle class people you can all have it but it all comes back to what's important in life and how you allocate your money, how you spend your money, guys. So, I mean, it's unfortunate Black Rob passed, but to see that he needs a, a GoFundMe page for his funeral, honestly, it's kind of a little disturbing because and I'm pretty sure you had a good career in the, in the music industry and you probably did a lot of outside things where you made additional money, but you did not use that money and allocate and put set things up or put plays in the right place for the future. And that's where financial literacy comes into play because those are the things you should have been doing. All right, um, you know, I'm not I'm not knocking GoFundMe pages or, you know, I'm not knocking the fact that your family has to do that. But, you know, we got to think, think about that for a second. Sit back and think about that, you know. Stimulus happened, COVID happened, right? Everyone got a lot of stimulus money. Half of my clients don't even have that money anymore. Ask them, where's the money? Uh, I spent it. I went on vacations. But yeah, you still have debt. All that's financial literacy. Use allocating the money to take care of what's important first, then live second. You've been living life all along, right? That's how you got into the financial situation you're in. 
can't continue living life like that, you know? But anyway, guys, it, this is just a message about life insurance policies. There's a lot of companies out there that offer life insurance policies. Um, you know, you can Google it. And like I said, it's not expensive. You don't need to be a rich person. They come in different forms, different price tags, and they do different things. But um, I just wanted to talk about that, and I find that a little disturbing um, that, you know, you need a GoFundMe page for someone that's such a, what was a pinnacle, I guess, is a good word to say in the hip hop uh, culture, right? I grew up on this music, great music. Like I said, the song Whoa was like my thing. So, guys, just something to sit and think about for a second while you just, why, why are you looking at your money in your bank account? Should I go buy this Rolex watch if I don't need it? Or I could do put some money in the savings, get a life insurance policy, and set yourself up for a rainy day. Because everyone has rainy days. We all have rainy days. I have rainy days. Shoot, I think I have a lot of rainy days. But I'm, I'm secure. I have things in play to, to for, pull out an umbrella to cover me, if that makes sense. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.